Hey there guys, it's Chaos Maelstrom Time. Welcome back to more Metroid Prime. In the last episode, we returned to the Chozo Ruins to explore more of it. We didn't find a whole lot of interesting stuff, but we did find the obnoxious energy tank that was bothering us for quite a while by telling us about an energy spike. And we also found a chamber with Bird Grandpa. I love you, Bird Grandpa. You're the best. All right. Well, now that we're, we made it uh, to Bird Grandpa's uh, living quarters, we're going to go ahead and uh, come over here to... Uh, we opened these up last time. These these uh, energy coverings that are um, co covering these uh, morph ball slots, we can only get rid of them with a respective beam, beam type. For example, the one with the energy be energy thing that we need, we need to use the wave beam to get rid of that. What this does... Makes things look a little more interesting down in Bird Grandpa's lair. Bird Grandpa's tickle basement. <laughs> I was just remembering the, that one line from how it's actually made. Down in Uncle Larry's tickle basement. Something like that. Uh, that's a series by Hugbees, which is basically a satire of how it's made. It's really funny. You should give it a watch if you get the chance. Okay. Uh, but more importantly, we need to hop into Bird Grandpa's arms again. I said we need to hop into Bird Grandpa's arms again! Thank you. Now Bird Grandpa's gonna go bowling again! <laughs> Steerike! Way to go, Bird Grandpa! You're the best! All right, well, now that we're up here, we can use this to roll past this area, and we can disable this force field. Now we can hop in here whenever we like. And now we're back to the um, deep Chozo ruins again, without Bird Grandpa's comfy chamber. Hello, what are you? Drain and shut off this whole thing, maintaining the water level at the reflective level at 95%. We can't have this thing be undrained. We need to drain it immediately. Taloric Alloy! I could destroy that with a Morph Ball Bomb! I like how all the fish get sucked down there, too. Way to go, Samus! You're our hero! <laughs> All right, so the reflecting pool is a relatively small area, but we're right next to where we need to get that special thing. And by God, if it's a special thing, I want it. Oh, no, no, delicioso! Oh, wait, I'm okay. Never mind. Try that again, I dare you. Oh! Yeah, these stone toads are going to be a nuisance if we don't take care of them for the most part, so... Now this one is actually going to be helpful, because we need him to get up here and blast down this door, so we can get one of the best items in the game. Are you ready to never go back to using the power and wave beams? Because I sure am! We got the ice beam! This weapon is so good! Oh my gosh. Again, why you wouldn't want to use the ice beam as much as possible escaped me because it's so good. There's only one game it's not good in, and that is the original Metroid for, well, I'm pretty sure we all know why the ice beam in the original Metroid isn't that good. But yeah, you're basically going to want to be using this from now on because, well, uh, Future Sean, go ahead and uh, show how powerful the actual Ice Beam is on screen when compared to the Power Beam. Yeah, it's that good! Plus, the Ice Beam has a chance of freezing, unlike the Power Beam. It's sort of similar to the um, Wave Beam stunning effect, only better, because you can shatter enemies with missiles when they're frozen. Also, what do we have here? Uh, Talon Overworld East. 
I'm interested. I don't think we should actually be going there quite yet, but um, we'll keep this in mind for later. Anything else we could do here? Oh yeah, there's a door in the back that we can now open with our awesome ice beam. Yeah, I know exactly where we need to go now that we've gotten the ice beam. I think. So, we won't be going back to Talon Overworld East quite yet. Instead, what we'll be doing is going through here and... Seeing that we have another passageway. To Talon Overworld South! So yeah, we have multiple different passageways out of here. Uh, now we could go back to this room and, uh... Is there a missile recharge station that I missed? Actually, I think I do want to go back to this room, back to the Hall of the Elders. Because there's uh, multiple things in there that I like to show off. So, yeah. I, we'll be taking one of these exits back to Talon Overworld soon enough. Because we do actually want to go back there. But first and foremost, we have a priority to make by going back here. Back into Grandpa's room. We're going to go check out what that missile recharge station was. Hopefully the Chozo ghost don't respond. <sighs> Why do I even talk? They're not going to want me in there unless I beat them close. You know what? Screw that noise. I'm going this way. Alright. Uh, let's see. We also haven't uh, gone through that door. I think that's probably a shortcut back to the furnace, so we'll go that way too. Also, I really want to see what, what's up with that missile recharge station, so yeah. And also, in case it isn't obvious, Shozo ghosts are a pain to deal with until you get the item that they... That makes them much easier to deal with. Uh, this just goes back here, by the way. So, no real point in going through there. As a matter of fact, I think this room is pretty much pointless, considering... I mean, all it really does it by going through this room is you bypass a certain... Okay, fine. It's gonna be like... There's three of them. No. I think... I think if you wait long enough, they will disappear, but I'm going to say, uh, screw that noise, and we're just going to, uh, continue to ignore them. Alright. Okay, so this is... Okay, we're going to save everything in the Chozo Ruins for later, when once we get the, um, the item that makes them much more easy to deal with. Because I do not feel like dealing with them constantly. <sighs> or, yeah, you know, get pushed in the other direction. That works too. <sighs> God, I hate Shizzle Ghosts. Granted, they're better than War Wasps. Yeah, that's right, I said it. <laughs> I like Chozo Ghosts, but I like dealing with Chozo Ghosts better than I like dealing with War Wasps. All right, uh, let's see here. East or south? Um, actually, I'm gonna go to the world map and see if I can't see uh, which of those that would take me to. There. It's gonna take us to an area of Talon Overworld that we haven't been to yet, so you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and say, ahead and say uh, let's just go whichever way the world, that the stupid, teleporters decide to take us. So, this one was harder to get to, so I assume it's going to be better. I really hope so. I really, truly hope so. Alright! Back to Talon Overworld we go! Alright, and we need the ice beam to get through here. Good thing we have that.
now that we know our mission, the music for Talon Overworld has changed. You can tell that we, we are running out of time. The Great Poison will soon overtake this world if we don't do something about it, so... Yeah, I love the change in atmosphere. Oh, hello. I will gladly take a missile expansion. I'm so glad I decided to go to Talon Overworld. Alright, and this puts us... Over by the frigate Crash Site. Crash Site. We haven't actually been here yet, but this area has been available to us for quite some time. And all, hey! Guess what I have now! No! You dead! Yeah! Flying Pirates just became a hell of a lot easier to deal with. All you have to do is hit them with a charge shot from the Ice Beam. And they will shatter away into teeny tiny pieces. Got it. That's good. Alright. Now something I really hate. They make it insanely difficult for you to get back to this room from... From down here, so... Uh, yeah. So we have a crashed frigate here. Uh, hello. Are you just a regular space pirate, or are you a... Oh, you're an injured space pirate. Wow, I almost feel bad for you. Almost. Wow, they blow up in one hit from the ice beam. <laughs> Sucks to be them. All right, we could go here, but... um. I'm going to warn you guys right now, there's an item that we need in order to uh, get through the frigate properly because it's submerged in water. In case you're wondering, yes, this is the remains of Frigate Orpheon. I think. Derelict space pirate ship that self-destructed in low orbit above Talon 4. Yep. This, what, it, this is the remains of Frigate Orpheon. The ship that blew up at the beginning of the game. Uh, we can't get there quite yet. Um, I mean, we can get across there, but it would take a while. Also, I'm pretty sure there must be an easier way to get up here, but... Huh. I should not have come this way, because now there's no easy way for me to get back. Okay, well, um... So suck. Because... Now I'm down here where I'm vulnerable. Oh. Hello, Arrow Pirate. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about, uh... What is... What am I trying to say? There's nothing we can do to make it easier to get across there right now, which really sucks. Plus, we came... We came to there at a bad time because I don't actually want to go there at the moment. So, yeah. We're going to have to retreat for now, and uh, what time are we at? We're at only 14 minutes. Um, well, I think we're going to make this a bit of a shorter episode, but I don't want to make it too short for you guys. The reason why I'm saying that is because when we come back here, we're back at the Hunter. So, I feel like that would be a good place to make a stopping point for today. But before we do, I'm going to go back to the um, Artifact Temple and see if anything has changed there. Because we did collect another artifact, the Artifact of Wild, back in the Chozo Ruins. So, no. No. And no. The three no's of justice. I don't know where I was going with that. All right. Let's go ahead and head into the Chozo Artifact Temple. This place always takes a while to load. Just to see if we have information on any new artifacts. Alright! 
now that we're here, uh, let's see what we've got. Go take a quick peek, see if we have anything different. Yep, that's where we recovered the artifact of Wild. Nope. Nothing new there. I don't know what causes uh, the uh, scripts for some of the missing artifacts that we don't know the locations yet to appear. But, I mean, I know that eventually they will... I think some of them disappear if we collect the artifact before we scan uh, the war on where it tells us to go. Oh! Hello, you're new! Okay. <clears throat> a room of research lies within the mines. A corrupted invader is trapped there. Defeat this creature to claim the artifact of warrior. Alright. So, when we go to some mine area, we need to remember that we can defeat a, uh, corrupted creature there. To get the artifact of war. All right. And with all that, I think we're gonna go ahead and take a break now. So, next time on Metroid Prime, the game doesn't tell us exactly where to go next, but we gotta get through that crash space pirate frigate is where we need to be. And it's gonna make it difficult because it is underwater. But I'll tell you guys right now. We're going to head to Fendrana Drifts. Because there's going to be an item somewhere around there that if I can see it. It's totally not going to show up now, is it? Well, it's somewhere past here. There is an item that we can get now that we have the ice beam. And it's going to be very helpful for us for exploring underwater areas. If you're a Metroid veteran, you already know what it is. I'll see you guys next time. Laters!